By now, most of us know that the GMAT is changing its syllabus and testing pattern and launching the GMAT Focus Edition later this year. But that raises the question in all our minds, should I wait for the Focus Edition or should I write and prepare for the current edition of the GMAT? This decision to go for the current versus the Focus Edition is not based on the cost of the test or the validity of the test. Either edition of the test costs you $275 and either edition of the test has a score validity of 5 years from the date you write the test. Just because the GMAT test pattern is changing and the focus edition is coming into the picture does not mean that the current edition scores will be valid for a shorter duration. If you write in August of 2023, your score is going to be valid till August 2028. So what should your decision be based on when you try to choose between the current and the focus edition of the test? I would recommend that you look at three parameters and make it a very subjective, personalized decision based on your requirements. And don't just go by, you know, some universal belief that one version is better than the other. The three parameters that you need to take into consideration are the content changes between the two tests, your application timeline that you are targeting, and finally, the preparation that you would require given the content and given the application timeline. So let's talk about these three parameters and let's start talking about the content differences between the two tests. There are significant differences in both what the test syllabus and how what section contributes to your score. So I would recommend that you play to your strengths. Understand these differences. Understand what your strengths are and accordingly decide whether the current edition or the focus edition makes better sense for you. Let's talk about the changes and then I'll tell you, give a couple of hypothetical examples to demonstrate how you can take this decision based on the content. So if I contrast the current edition with the focus edition, in quant, we have three syllabus areas. You can have questions from arithmetic, algebra and geometry, but geometry is getting removed in the focus edition and you will only have arithmetic and algebra questions. Within quant, you have two kinds of questions, problem solving and data sufficiency. In the focus edition, you will only have problem solving questions. Geometry is getting completely removed, but data sufficiency is not getting removed. It is getting moved. It is getting moved into the new section, which is called the data insights section. In quant, you only have problem solving questions. In IR, current version of the integrated reasoning section, it's not part of your 800 score. It is a separate score on a scale of 1 to 8. Only quant and verbal contribute towards your 800 score. Whereas this section is becoming equally important in the focus edition. So now IR plus data sufficiency is getting rebranded as DI or data insights section. And your data insight section carries one third weightage in contributing to your 800 score. Except the new score is not an 800 score anymore. It's an 805 score. All the focus edition scores will end in a 5. So that when someone looks at a scorecard, they immediately know whether the score was obtained in the current edition or the focus edition. IR uh, is becoming important. And then that brings us to the final section, verbal. You have three question types in the current edition, RCCR and sentence correction. Sentence correction, which tests your understanding of, you know, constructing a sentence and grammar application is getting removed and you will only have reading comprehension and critical reasoning. All of these changes impact your overall duration of the score. An essay section that is there in the current edition is also getting removed in the focus edition. So the test is going from three hours to about just over two hours. So how will this impact your decision to go for the current edition or the focus edition? If geometry or sentence correction are actually your strengths in the quant and the verbal sections respectively, you are better off writing the current edition. If you hate geometry and sentence correction because there is just too much rules and formulae for you to learn, you are better off going for the focus edition. Integrated reasoning or data insights, as the case may be, requires a combination of quantitative and verbal skills. You bring in inference skills from verbal reading comprehension and critical reasoning section and then you bring some quantitative analysis and problem solving skills from the quant section. Along with this, you also need to have a little bit of data literacy, which is your ability to read and process information presented in the form of graphs and tables.
So, if you are very strong in one of quant and verbal, but not very good at combining the two skills, if you do not have the patience or the ability to process information given in graphs and you do not want to have an extra focus given to the graph section, then you need to look at the current version where integrated reasoning is not part of the 800 scope. But if you are able to balance your time, finish your quant and your verbal preparation and do justice to your data insights preparation as well, then you should probably look at the focus edition. Of course, another thing that you can do to take this decision is take a mock and check your ability to sit for a 3 hour test versus a 2 hour test. If you have had a long break from your academics, it has been 7 years, 8 years since you studied and you have been working. Just the process of sitting for a 3 hour test can be very mentally taxing and you may not be able to do justice to the last section in your test, in which case you are better off going for the focus edition. So, look at these 3 parameters, 3, 4 content related parameters when you decide should I go for the current version or should I go for the focus edition. Next, let us talk about your application timeline. This is especially important for people who want to start their MBA in 2024, whether it is with Indian business schools that start their program somewhere between February, April 2024 or whether you are looking at the typical fall applications where the program starts in August or September of 2024. If sometime in 2024 you are planning to start your application, then this is a very crucial decision making factor. Why is it a crucial decision making factor? The focus edition is getting launched in Q4 of 2023. Now, immediately a lot of us are processing it as October of 2023. The registration itself starts only in end August of 2023. So, it may very well not be October 2023. Q4 can mean any time till the last week of December 2023. And there are not enough science, enough information released by MBA.com yet for us to guarantee know that it will get released in October. The time is still fluid. It can be anywhere, anytime in Q4. Now, what does that mean for people applying for 2024 MBA programs? Your application deadlines. Round 1 deadlines are going to be in October. Which means if you want to do justice to your application and spend enough time on your application essays and the rest of your application, you probably need to write your GMAT by September. And that means the focus edition is not yet going to be released for sure in September of 2023. If you want to apply by round 2, deadlines will be in the last week or last couple of weeks of December and the first 10, 15 days of January 2024. You may still not have enough time to catch round 2 deadlines, even if the focus edition will definitely be out by then. Because remember, writing the GMAT is just one component in your application. You still need to network with the business schools. You still need to make friends with the admission committee. You need to talk to students, current or alumni in different schools and understand the program. You need to attend their virtual and in-person events. You need to gather enough information, do enough research about the school, introspect about yourself and your career and write really strong application essays, get strong letters of recommendation in place. And the problem is lot of times our choice of school itself depends on our GMAT score. We will have a certain set of schools to apply to if our GMAT score is in the 720, 730 range. But then if it is in the 690 range, some of us might, des might decide no, I am only going to apply to those schools, I am getting a 720 no matter what and I will rewrite the GMAT. While others might say, I do not have the time to write the GMAT again, I am going to apply with 690, I am just going to edit and modify which schools I am going to apply to in order to maximize my chances of getting an admission. If the schools that you are applying to is likely to change based on your GMAT score, you will not have time to catch round 2 deadlines if you write your GMAT by end of December. So, you may not have the freedom, the bandwidth to choose the focus edition at all if you are targeting certain schools. While schools are on, in general very on board with the focus edition, the changes that the GMAC has made to the focus edition is based on feedback received from corporate recruiters, from business schools and from students. 
In fact, they have a bunch of schools in their advisory committee, in their board, that give them feedback as to what the schools are looking for. And every edit made to the GMAT test pattern across all of our, all of these years that the GMAT has been active has been based on feedback from the schools. So schools in general are on board with the changes that are happening to the focus edition. But because of the timeline of the release of the focus edition, some schools such as Harvard have said, this year, we're not going to confuse our uh, uh, people who are going to apply to us. Just write the current edition of the GMAT and apply with the current edition. It's only from the next edition that we're going to, next year, that we're going to consider the focus edition scores. So reach out to the schools that you are targeting, even if they have not released a public statement. Send a mail to the admission committee. Ask them, am I okay writing the focus edition? Will you accept focus edition schools this year, scores this year? First, of course, check out the FAQ pages on the school's website, on their admission website. And if there is no mention of the focus edition in the FAQ pages, then do your research, email the school, find out what they are planning to do. If you are very particular ab about applying early in round one and round two, which can prove favorable to you, because there are people who are going to hold off their applications until they are able to write the focus edition. If you have prepared for the current edition and you are applying early, you might have uh, the ability to, you know, convert into an admission. You might be able to sort of better your chances. For a lot of people, it's also a question of, you know, having first priority schools. You are applying to in round one. And then based on the decisions that come in for those schools, they tweak the schools that they are applying for in round two so that they are improving their chances of overall getting an admission. When you have the freedom to apply across all of the rounds of application, you have a lot more flexibility in both your school choice and therefore you can play the game better. You improve your odds significantly. So consider all of these factors if you are applying over the next couple of months and make that consideration done, get it over with in the next couple of days. Do not wait any longer to make the decision if you are very particular about starting your MBA in 2024. The longer you wait, the door closes, the opening, the gap opportunity becomes narrower and narrow, narrower. If you decide in August, oh wait, I'm going to try and catch the round one deadlines. Maybe I will write for the current edition of the GMAT and not wait for the focus edition. It might be too late for you. You're giving yourself just one and a half, two months to prepare on a broader syllabus. And you would not be doing justice to your preparation, justice to your GMAT score, and you will feel hampered. Now, do I write the focus edition the second time around? Do I apply with the score? You're confusing yourself and you're leaving a lot of questions unanswered. So prioritize what's more important to you, the content changes and having a shorter test or applying this year ASAP. That's going to be a crucial factor in your decision to go for the current edition or the focus edition. You determine what is more important to you and then accordingly take a choice. Finally, let's talk about your preparation. If you prepare for the current edition of the GMAT, right? If you are preparing for the current edition, that's going to actually give you some advantage in the sense that the focus edition doesn't have added content. It only has a narrower syllabus. Your geometry is getting removed. Sentence correction is getting removed. Essays are getting removed. Data sufficiency and IR are getting more important. But the syllabus or the content of preparation for data sufficiency and IR is not changing. What does that mean for you? It means that if you prepare for the current edition of the GMAT, then you can write both editions. You can write the current edition and you can write the focus edition as well. If you prepare for the focus edition though, you are not prepared enough to write the current edition of the GMAT because you have not prepared for geometry and sentence correction. So if you are on the fence, should I write the focus edition or the current edition, don't wait for August 29th to know when the registration is opening and you know when the dates are available to make the choice. Start preparing for the current edition. Give more importance to the topics that are there and prioritize in your, in your order of preparation. Give more importance to preparing for arithmetic algebra. Learn your geometry and sentence correction concepts even if you don't practice them. Learn everything. But practice, do a lot more practice of arithmetic algebra for the next one month. And then practice geometry and sentence correction. That way, within that one month, if you decide, oh, I'm going to go to the focus edition, you don't need to do additional practice for geometry and sentence correction.
but don't stop preparing don't lose your momentum procrastination is the easiest thing for a lot of us to achieve we are always happy just gathering material from different sources just watching videos on youtube about how to prepare rather than actually sitting and preparing and the focus edition has actually given a lot of people a good excuse to sit back and not do anything for a few months we are playing the wait and see game but as we discussed if the application timeline is crucial for you you cannot afford to play the wait and see game i am a procrastinator myself so i completely understand why people are sitting back and not doing anything towards their gmat preparation other than watching these youtube videos so start preparing don't lose that momentum don't stop preparing if you have already started stick to your current edition preparation trust me you can leverage that extensively towards your focus edition preparation but if you play the waiting game and then for some reason you have you end up having to write the current edition before it's getting removed then you're going to be rushing and you're going to have a lot of content to navigate in a very short amount of time so keep that in mind and as i said registrations for the focus edition will open only on august 29th so exactly what the launch date of the focus edition is we will not know until that date from the time this video is posted that's a good 2 to 2 and a half months let's not waste that time let's keep preparing you can either prepare the content that is common for both the current edition and the focus edition or prepare for the current edition and then in the last 2 3 weeks streamline and just do the content necessary for the focus edition if you decide that that's the edition you're going to go with or if your application decisions are close prepare for the current edition write the current edition don't wait to take this decision Good luck with your preparation whichever decision you take current or focus edition i hope that you won't go by what everybody else is saying but will go by what will best help you leverage your strengths and your skill sets good luck